Hi there, my name is Paul DiCarlo and I'm a senior cloud advocate at Microsoft focused on Internet of Things and I'd like to talk to you all about this really cool project that I was able to create with the NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NX device. This is the latest device released in the NVIDIA line of Jetson embedded devices and it's pretty awesome. In fact, it is basically a supercomputer that is no larger than your cell phone and maybe even smaller if you don't count the onboard fan or carrier board. But um, what we did with this device, we went and instrumented it with the Azure IoT Edge runtime, which allows us to run workloads that can be deployed down from the Azure cloud to your device, no matter where it happens to be. And one of those modules that we offer in our marketplace is called the NVIDIA DeepStream SDK. And this is produced by NVIDIA and allows you to create very easy to create intelligent video application pipelines. In fact, as you can see here, you can ingest multiple video sources and also run inferencing or object detection algorithms on those feeds as they're coming in live on that device. Now, you're probably wondering, how did we build the model that you were just seeing? Well, one of the things that we can do is employ an additional feature known as the camera tagging module that you see here. And here I can capture images and very easily upload those to services like Custom Vision or blob storage to be able to archive any of the samples that I'd like to gather. So you can sort of see what I've done here. I gathered a number of images over the weekend, uh, 6,000 or so, of a variety of different scenes around the home in different lighting conditions. And this has allowed me to create a very accurate model that knows my environment. And once we have that device sort of up and running, you can start to see that it's producing quite a bit of data. In fact, look how fast that's going. Um, so one of the things that we employed here to sort of um, make sense of all that data was we use something called Azure Streaming Analytics at the Edge. And this allows us to sort of look at that data over a time epoch and allow me to send much lighter weight payloads. For example, you can sort of see down here these payloads that are coming out of here are really summarizations of the object detection data that it has seen. Now, what I've then done is wired up all of that object detection output and put that into a service called Time Series Insights. And this allows me to very easily at a glance look at all of the detections that my device has seen. So I can go into any of my available sensors and I could sort of look at these and say, you know, I'd like to see the people that were seen over the last day here. And I can see when it was making those detections, which is pretty awesome. But wait, there's just a little bit more to all of this. Um, no production uh, system is good without, uh, you know, an accompanying dashboard. So Power BI allows me to then take that data that's coming into my Azure IoT Hub and visualize it, as you can see here. And once you get that data pumped in, you can start to create live reports. In fact, reports that update in near real time. So you can see here, as I'm looking at this, it knows how many cars are in the driveway, it knows how many cars are in the street, and it knows the last time it saw the dog and the cat. So this is pretty amazing stuff and, and, and really easy to build. Now you're probably wondering, hey, that's cool that you showed us that. How can I learn how to do this myself? And you can, in fact, all you need to do is pick up one of these devices. In fact, the NVIDIA Jetson Nano device will also suffice here. That is the entry level model for the NVIDIA Jetson embedded devices. Um, what I've done, and this is optional, is, is used a small seven inch monitor and an HDMI splitter so I can see these detections in real time on my TV and also kind of glance where the router is and get a glimpse of what sort of things are being detected by the system. Now, if you're wondering how you can build this for yourself, detailed repro instructions are coming soon during the month of July OT. And this is gonna be a full month where the IoT advocacy team is gonna be releasing three amazing IoT-based projects. I'm gonna be doing this with my friends, Jim Bennett and Dave Glover. And we're gonna do this during each week of July and culminate in a final week that's gonna be dedicated to Azure 220 IoT certification content. So not only will you be able to learn how to do so cool stuff, you'll also be able to put that to use and perhaps get a certification. So I hope this is exciting stuff and we'd love to see you in July and thank you for attending Build. We'd love to see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.